Hi everyone, Blake Burkamp, researcher growing a mist with Great Plains, coming to you from the field today, give you an update on our soybean field trial that we've been following along this growing season. So in this field trial, we're comparing the seeding accuracy and row spacing effect of our BD7600 box drill compared to that of a planter. And so one common thing we hear from many producers is that are looking at narrow row spacings uh, with the drill is the drawback of the plant emergence or total plants that they have out there is oftentimes less than that with the accuracy of the planter. So in this field trial, uh, we were looking to compare our new technology on the BD7600 and really see how it stacked up against today's planters. And so we've recently uh, sampled plants from our different treatments in, in this field trial to get a little bit of an idea, a yield estimate on these different row spacings of the drill, uh, which we did at seven and a half inch, 15 inch and 30 inch compared to that of the 30 inch planted with a planter. And we found some interesting results that I wanted to share with you. And that is you know, overall with the drill, we did have around a 10 to 15% lower stand count compared to the planter, which is pretty typical and, and really pretty good when you compare the industry uh, standard of what most drills are doing today. Um, however, the interesting thing uh, with those lower stand counts that we found is the number of pods per plant or pods per area and how that is a, a big contributing yield factor. So we counted the number of pods per plant and factored that into our plant stand. And, and what we're finding is that typically on these narrow row space drilled beans on seven and a half inch, that we're seeing uh, 10 to 15 more pods per plant compared to that of the wide row 30 inch planted beans. Uh, we have many more branches with beans on them in the narrow rows. And really that is driven by uh, the better plants to plant spacing that we see with the drill on those narrow rows versus the wider rows. So on average, we're gonna have seven to eight inches of spacing on the narrow seven and a half inch rows versus one and a half or two inches on the 30 inch rows. For this field trial, we calibrated our drill to seed 120,000 uh, seeds per acre as well as the planter. So uh, we're in a medium uh, yielding environment here in central Kansas. And so this is really uh, probably on the top end of our typical seeding rates. Uh, but we're really happy with the plant stands that we got overall for both the drill and the planter. And we're excited to see how this uh, finishes out the year and how harvest, uh, what our yield data shows at the end of the season. So some other advantages of the narrow rows, you know, include other than, other than potential yield advantage is going to be that quicker canopy, uh, which is going to shade out weeds and reduce the weed competition, as well as keep that soil temperature cooler and help uh, retain some soil moisture, which is definitely an important factor here in lower rainfall environments and, and rain-fed uh, dry land situations. So some other benefits to these narrow rows to consider if you're looking at that versus the wide row soybeans. So let's step over here and look at some plant samples that we took from each of these row spacing treatments. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, on the narrow, narrow seven and a half inch drilled beans, we have many branches uh, with soybean pods on them and really main stem mini pods as well. Again, that plant to plant spacing is improved on these narrow rows uh, as verse as we widen out our row spacing, those plants get tighter. So 15 inch, uh, not many branches on this plant, but depending on the spacing between, we do see some of the plants that did have uh, quite a bit of branching. And so it'll be interesting to see how our 15 inch drill beans do in this study as well. Uh, the nice feature on the BD drill is that slide gate shutoff feature that really allows us that versatility to manage our row spacings uh, to best fit your operation. Now, as I mentioned, we did do 30 inches with the drill as well, just to get a benchmark against a 30 inch planter. And out of all the drill spacings, we did see our lowest uh, stand count in this wide row uh, drilled beans. So it's not something we typically see done in production, but we would, uh, we just wanted to test that for our own uh, interest. So as you can see, this plant, they didn't have neighbors nearby it, had quite a bit of branching. 
However, one that was closer had uh, some other plants tighter against it, fewer branches, and more pods on the main stem. So fewer pods um, here total on these plants. But um, And here on the 30-inch the planter, then, you can see very little branching effect with these beans. So these beans were shooting uh, more straight up and putting many pods there on the main stem. But overall, we found 10 to 15 more pods per plant on the narrow seven and a half inch spacing and, can, and factoring that in with our stand counts. Again, we found our yield estimates are expecting an eight to 10 bushel advantage of these narrow seven and a half inch beans over the wider row spacing beans. So it'll be interesting to follow here to the end of the year and see how things play out. But if narrow row spacing is soybeans is something that you've considered or interested in looking into, uh, we did encourage you to look into it on your operation, uh, whether that be through renting or demoing a drill and, and doing a study on your field, uh, such as we've done here this year, and really seeing how the narrow row spacing may factor into your operation and how it performs in your environment. So it's definitely something that we'd encourage you to look at and the BD7600 offers some great features for drilling soybeans uh, more in addition to those other crops, cereal grains and uh, cover crops. So, so some great advantages to using the BD drill in soybeans. And for more information on this drill, uh, you can find us online at greatplainsag.com or reach out to your local Great Plains Ag dealer.